Well, hello again, everybody. This is Louise Eddington of Cosmic Owl Astrology. And with me again, I have Erica Robinson of uh, your business name. I've forgotten it. Mental blank. So, oh, I'm so stuck. I'm in the company of the cards. Yes. Company of cards. Yeah. Right. So um, and it's a great substack. So please go and read it and subscribe to mine, of course, too. And the links will be in, in um, the description, as always. Anyway, today we are back looking at current events and we've had a little chat about what questions to ask the cards and the astrology, first of all. And I think front and center for a lot of people is Project 2025, which I knew about already, but suddenly everybody's talking about it. You know, I'm, I'm like, where was everybody? <laughs> Not paying attention, <laughs> clearly. Well, but at least the mainstream me I think it was because of the head of um the Heritage Foundation doing that video where he right. basically threatened violence, you know. Right. So that's what brought it out, I think, to the public. So, but our question really is to look at whether this is all gonna um have more of an effect, shall we say, on Trump's candidacy. Um um, I don't. What's the question you want to ask the cards? Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm already mm -hmm. pulling cards. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and, good. Um, I I wanted to see literally that. How would it affect Trump's candidacy? Because Trump mm -hmm. is his name is all over this. Mm -hmm. um, the, the certainly the project itself is tying him to it. But mm -hmm. of course, remember that he's the useful idiot to more than just the Russians. Oh, he is. Yeah. He's the useful idiot to the Project 25 people. So And uh, and and Mike Flynn and Roger Stone right, right. and all but, those web of connections. Right. Of all. So but he's all yeah. about um he's all about optics. And so mm -hmm. he he realizes that people are reading at least the 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 high point, low points of the the project. And are saying, wait, what? No. And so yeah. he's trying to distance himself from it while not making his masters, for whom he's the useful idiot, uh, angry. It's a yes. very difficult tightrope for him to walk. So what I did was I, I decided that I would use as my focus card um, the project. Mm. And so I shuffled the deck. I looked for this card. Oh, and what happened? It ended up being the very um, last card in the deck. That meant that means I had to put it last, and yeah. and then pull four cards in front of it, and then I pulled three clarifiers for that um, letter card in the end. So what we have is the ship, the birds, the fox. Mm -hmm. the young man and then we have this letter I'll mention the clarifiers for the letter in a second mm -hmm. so here we are project 25 is a real thing uh you know they are ready to pounce on day oh. one he said he'd be a dictator on day one well project 2025 is ready to launch so mm -hmm. Um, on day one. Now, what's happened, of course, because the Heritage Foundation guy gave uh, that interview where, you know, he said a bunch of things, but it's created quite the buzz. Birds Ooh. are the buzz. Yeah. I think that, mm, I don't know, I, I don't know that necessarily uh, the Project 25 people wanted quite the buzz that it's created. Because there's such thing as too much buzz. In fact, I know that this is the case because in the interview, he he, you know, talked about some things and then was asked to say more. And he said, Well, you know, I mean, if this was a football game, you certainly wouldn't want to tell the other team all your plays. Um, and, yeah. then, and then he proceeded to say, give the categories for the plays. And the categories were what the bylaws were going to be. And mm -hmm. also, what was the other thing? That there were some certain sweeping changes that were going to be made immediately. He didn't say what they were, mm -hmm. but this created yeah. buzz in a bad way. So yeah. whenever, I, whenever I choose a focus card, 
statistically, it will come where I want it to come, which is in the middle. Sometimes that doesn't happen like now. Mm -hmm. When that happens, I have to say, well, what is in the middle? Because that's going to be really interesting. And what's (laughs) in the middle is the fox. So there is a lot of smoke and mirrors that Trump will is trying to do around this in Mm -hmm. a very um, unartful way. He's not good at that. (laughs) Um, You know, I'm saying this, but I mean that. No, I mean this. I mean that he doesn't even know what he's talking about. So that's why you've got this fox, but he's swimming around in mushrooms, Mm -hmm. high on his own supply. He's as confused by, by Project 2025 as a lot of people are. He just kind of signs off on stuff. He just doesn't yes. a thinker, right? Or a reader. <laughs> but the point is that people, uh, the, the voter, these people mm-hmm. who are buzzing are saying, wait a minute, I feel like a fast one's being pulled on us. Mm-hmm. Like, I mm-hmm. like him for this, that, and the other reason, but wait a minute, not for X, Y, and Z over here, because that's going to really hurt me. Like, for example, I'm on social security. I'm all for women being uh, kept pregnant and barefoot, but I don't want to lose my but, social security, right? So, yeah. so, so people are starting to feel hoodwinked. And I think that that mm-hmm. needs to be capitalized on. Okay, so yeah. if you're a racist jerk, Fine, do you, but do you realize that it's going to affect you this, that, and the other way? That's what people are going to have to, that's what the other side, the Democrats are going to have to make clear. Um, And they have to make it clear in this kind of a way. This is the young man. The young man Mm -hmm. is young energy, yang energy, if you're an American, Mm. like that, and um, believes that all things are possible. Well, what does that mean? It means that it's possible to um, direct the buzz, to direct yeah. the the direction that these birds are flocking and flying in. And that's what needs to happen. Um, mm-hmm. Because um, what came at the end was the card that I was looking for that I thought would come in the middle. But this is, this is um, Project 25. But guess what? It's also anything in writing, right? So one of the things that this card stands for is votes. So I thought, ah. let me pull three cards on the on votes. Ooh. So crossroads, rider, and tree. People are going to realize they have some decisions to make. Uh-huh. They have some choices here. Yeah. And that's the message that this, you know, this um public publicizing of Project 25 will, will bring. Yeah. That, that that this thing will be for all time seminal it'll be in the dirt it'll be in the roots mm-hmm. it'll be in the trunk it'll be in the branches it'll be in the leaves and people are going to uh-huh. say wait a minute wait a minute wait. so i think in the end the short answer sorry about the long answer is that it will hurt That's it. It. well think- let me look at i agree when i look at the astrology so i've got trump's chart up and um I, I estimated the day that that video came out because that's really when the buzz came out. Okay, yeah. so I think it was either on July the 4th or the day before, but it's close enough. Well, what strikes me immediately is that Uranus was right at the top of his chart. And talk about a direction a direction shift from something that's been come out, you know, um, and that's his top of his chart is his the public presence, his visibility. Uranus brings rapid change. You know, I would say with that, there's even a possibility that at the convention, they decide to try and put some other useful Id- idiot in. Yet they're, they're the ones that, you know, <laughs> realize that it's not boding well on him. But right. even if he, he but even if he survives the con the convention which incidentally has mars conjunct um uranus on the day of the convention or the first day or whatever one of them very close on the 15th they're right up here square to his mars which is not good for him either that's a sudden change of radical direction as well so let me say this about mm -hmm. mars and you know i'm no astrologer but uh-huh. I will say that one of the things I've heard from from a variety of sources is that there's a lot of concern about weapons at the convention. Yeah. Mars, Mars, Mars does. Fighting, Mars, right? Mars does represent uh, 
war and weapons for sure but it doesn't always show up that way it no could. but it wouldn't be it a good could. look for some incident no. to happen i don't think it would be no. a good look for him not at all no 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 <laughs> and 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 that you know mars square his mars um and it's what's called a closing square so mars now by transit is heading towards his mars so that's the ending of a cycle as well mm -hmm. this is all kind of like crazy mm -hmm. and then if we look a little bit ahead as well we have um even if he survives the convention in august we have what most astrologers have called the uh, worst full moon of the year which you know some astrologers like to be all doom and gloom it won't be worst for everybody <laughs> But look at look where the sun is on the full moon, right on his Mars. Oh. This, this is Vesta, which is the represents a, in bigger terms the Vestal Virgins right. kept the flame flame of the state burning. Right. <laughs> it's also Mercury is right next to the sun and retrograde, so revisiting things or change of direction again. And Mercury is exactly Kazemi conjunct the sun the day before this full moon, the 18th. Some more news could come out. And all of this is square that Uranus. Well, and and Mars is on Mars is on his sun and all of that. So, so when you talk this, about the, the revisiting piece over there, uh -huh. 29 degrees thing over there, um yeah. on the left. Um I, I'm wondering, and I know you are, whether, because I've heard buzz about this too, whether the Epstein thing will in fact oh. bite him, because that mm -hmm. would be a revisiting. It would be, or things coming out from under the past, yeah, to, to right. emerge, hidden news. It could be, it could be that and, mm -hmm. you know, the, re the result of all these other things. Yep. I, I think the convention and and the release of that video and people really realizing all of this stuff is not looking good for for the donald no. <laughs> so personally i think it's terrible for him so you know there's other aspects here that are kind of so this full moon as well is aspecting eris who um is um is a shit stirrer basically discord right uh, yes discord yeah. chaos she's the goddess of discord and chaos and and she is just stationing retrograde just gone retrograde and square his venus that's not good for him either this is all kind of like wild honestly when i look at it i think wow <laughs> it's just so um, whether it means he'll be out at the convention or out, it could lead to his, you know, definitely kind of not winning, at least. I think I don't think he's going to win anyway. I don't think he's going to win he either. And I, as I mentioned to you before we went live, I think that um, Nikki Haley um, mm. tried to do something strategic by releasing her delegates to him now because I think that that will make her look like a good team player. Um, yes. Should the need arise for someone to come in off the bench <laughs> and pitch. <laughs> no. Yes, definitely. So we'll see, I guess. But see. either either way, this is a, a not good for him. I no, think. it's not good for all, him. All of this. So that's that one. Mm -hmm. Next, we are going to look at Thursday this week. This week, I assume, two days' yeah, time. Thursday, uh-huh. Because Biden is running a press conference. Do you know what time it is? No. Well, no. I know it, it It won't be too late because he won't do anything after 8 o'clock anymore. Well, I think, I think I good think for him. Fair. I like to go to bed at 8.30. And you know what is so weird? is that I, I thought, okay, so what I will do is I will look for the older man that will stand for Biden. And what happened to me again, I always, before I start 
flipping the cards over one by one, just mm -hmm. in case I always check the bottom of the deck first. Mm -hmm. And who's on the bottom of the deck? Just like uh, before we saw the letter at the bottom of the deck, the card that I was looking for is at the bottom of the deck. Well, what that means is it has to go last. And that mm -hmm. means I can pull, I have to pull four cards ahead of it in order to get my line of five. So here's what I have. Now we're talking about Thursday, which is a press conference that mm -hmm. Biden give. He's not given one in two years. So we have the mice. We have the moon. Mm -hmm. We have the bouquet, the key, and Biden. So let me just quickly, I can say it in a couple of sentence, sentences. Of course, he, uh, like everybody else, is nervous about how this is going to go. This is a card for nervousness, anxiety, stress, worry. And we do a thing in Lenormand called mirroring. So there are certain mm -hmm. cards I can look together. Uh, together, I can mirror this card with him. So mm. he's, he's nervous. Why is he nervous? Because he knows how important this is to his reputation, to his image. Yeah. However, we can mirror this card with the key. And that's terrific because it looks to me like this will, well, you know, sometimes keys unlock things. Sometimes keys lock things. So mm -hmm. I have to say, listen, is this a good key or is this a bad key? We know that this will be central to whether it erases what happened that fateful day or not. And the great news is what's in the middle because the card in the middle, which I had hoped would be Biden, but Biden was at the end. So what's in the middle? The bouquet. This means that this press conference will go incredibly well, put a lot of people at ease. It will clean up whatever tarnish has been on his, his reputation as a result of the debate. And we will be able to move forward here. Mm, and I, uh, the astrology again agrees. Oh, good. So um, I'm, I'm going to, I, I had to choose a time because we don't know what time it's scheduled for. But either way, um, the moon is in Virgo and, uh, you know, it's uh, moving towards um, the action phase. It's a, a, a waxing moon. So that's good as well. Um, and um, the moon is in Virgo and will have just gone over the top of his chart, public visibility, all that kind of stuff. He's also got Juno up there, which is um, she uh, is very much about partnership, but also women and children. I think you might, you know, say, you know, people need me I, kind of I thing. I tried to look up the time. I couldn't find it. But when you no, say, I had a quick look, too. Yeah. When you say partnership, that's interesting, because remember, too, he will be just coming out of uh, the NATO. Uh, yes. Right. Of course. Yes. Good point. So, but all having the moon in a waxing phase, which is good, is right at the top of his chart is good in itself. But Virgo as well is very much a sign of service. You know, most people say he really wants to do good for the people, you know, mm -hmm. and it's Mercury ruled, which is the voice clarity. Mercury is just right here on at the cusp of his ninth house which is truth it's good it's powerful speaking i like that mercury is there mercury is going retrograde soon but mercury is not any in in that zone yet so i think he's going to speak quite clearly and say you know i've i'm doing the job i've i know how to do the job i've done this job and um you know it's too late to swap so you've got to back me and vote for me <laughs> you know what can i say something <laughs> sort of um broadly about this mm. whole thing, which is that um of course this is the energy that you see in the stars and that i see in the cards mm. Um, it is it is a, a snapshot of, of of the moment, and there's all kinds of free will and everything else that can that can happen. Oh. Um, and I, but I will say that I, I I've heard in the magical community anyway something that I think is just pretty bogus, which is if you mm -hmm. talk about this stuff too much, 
if you give it energy, then you, you know, then you are creating a bad outcome. I think that's nonsense. In fact, I would say the opposite. If you, if you like what we're saying, if what we're saying resonates Mm. to me, why would you not then say, let me be hopeful about that yes. let's be prayerful yeah. about that um it you know because and, that, and, that shifts and, and, energy in that good positive way well i think we co-create with the universe absolutely uh, absolutely mm-hmm. and so if 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 we see good coming then hold that space you know that's how it feels to me um you know what if i i think i said on our first one that um when briefly that you know, they should have had an astrologer for, for that debate because it would have shown that it was not looking good for him. Right. I think I would say for this press conference that maybe they asked an astrologer. They probably didn't, but it's, it's good luck. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to sign you up. And if they need a card reader on the days that you take a vacation, I'll, I'll fill in. <laughs> but timing wise you know with with all the you know he's got to do something soon so you know but generally I think this is a good timing also Jupiter um on um on the day of the press conference is on his Saturn and I think that's kind of this strong steady voice because that's Mercury ruled too it feels like with an expansive message of I can, I can do this, you know, look at what I've already done. If you give me a bigger majority, I can do even more. So mm-hmm. hopefully he will come out with all of that. So <laughs> That's what we yeah. see. Yeah. And I don't know if you, if you saw in the news that um, there was a big Ferrari because uh, some doctor who was a neurological spec. Uh-huh. But but apparently he that doctor covers everybody. Who well, that's it. In the, the White House. They have, the White House staff is is enormous. So and you know I mean this is the thing I think that the press. You know what? Oh. Not for nothing. I think the press was operative in giving us those bad four years with you. Know, oh, well, and I... was such a novelty. So anything he did. It was the, and he knew that he, he because it's all about press. It's all about eyeballs, clicks, and and, clicks and, and, and drama. drama. That's right. And my my hope is that the press will have learned a lesson. Yeah. Um, I think they are learning, but oh. um, I'm I don't know because they're because they're, they're all they're all owned by somebody who wants a certain message out there. But That's right. that was. That was bringing me to our third topic. I suggested we kind of, so the polls, every, you know, everybody keeps quoting the polls, the press, uh, the media, they're always saying Biden's losing in the polls, Twitter, Biden's losing in the polls. The polls were wrong in 2016. They were wrong in 2020. They were wrong in 2022. There was no red wave. In fact, it was an astounding result for the Dems in 2022 because Traditionally, the incumbent party loses big time in midterms. Uh, I think the polls are completely wrong this time. But also, um, so if you want to pull any cards around what I'm talking about, um, I, I would like to include the media in that as well. I think what's happening now is proving that, you know, the polls just are not accurate anymore. They're based on some old paradigm Apparently, they only called landlines and who has landlines anymore, right, you know, right. things like that. Um, also, um, uh, I would say the media. I mean, look how many people have um, stopped their subscriptions to the mainstream New York Times, the Washington Post, uh, because of how they've reported on the debate. Yes, Biden had a terrible debate. But what about Trump? He lied all the way through it. They didn't really report on that much at all. People have left CNN in droves. They're not watching that anymore. Okay, so I I pulled on the polls. And the Mm. card that I uh, decided to select to stand for the polls is the birds. Mm. Because, again, that's buzz. That's word on the street. It's, you know, 
So I have the older woman, I have the stork, I have the birds, I have the book, and then I have the clouds. This is hysterical. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the older woman. Now this is yin energy mm -hmm. and it's mature yin energy, which is to say to not get our knickers in a twist over poles to be oh, calm, yeah. to be to be watchful to be waiting to not leap in a yang yeah. kind of way at, at every message so there's that um that if we take this approach we will be better off the stork is mm -hmm. about positive change mm -hmm. um, now and and that positive change could have to do with the way in the future not now mm -hmm. polling is done because yeah. Because, because this time around, the book and the clouds. The book is about, even though you and I know that books hold information, and Lenormand, not so much. The mm -hmm. book is about things we don't know, things mm -hmm. that we cannot know. Posters mm -hmm. cannot know. You only know when the, the votes are counted, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and so whatever information we currently get from from polls, it's confusing and it should not, it's not to be believed, right? Yes. So I think that the way they do it will have to be improved. I mean, that just the story about the fact that they call people out with land. I don't know anybody that has a landline still, unless they're I know. 85. Yeah. No offense, to, no offense to anybody if you have it. Nope. But, um, I ha I, we, we have one only because of my mother who will not. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so she oh, exactly. So I think it will be made clear that the way that we uh, prognosticate has got to be done differently. Mm -hmm. So for now, just relax, not get our knickers in a twist, like I said, because any mm -hmm. information that comes from polling will not be accurate because we're not meant to know certain things yeah. until it's time to know it. Yeah. Like and, like and and I will say that. You know, I think the astrology is showing that people are beginning to realize that some of these structures and systems like the polling and how it was done, it just does not work anymore. So I, I want to show the astrology just very quickly on that, because one thing that's been really showing up for me every time something like you said about information being revealed this is from another kind of direction is this centaur here pholus pholus is in capricorn capricorn is the structures of our lives which includes things like the polling and things like that and it's often very kind of we stick with these structures this was what always worked so it could be the media as well well pholus has been very active in revealing structures that just don't not work. I call him the Pandora's box um, uh, thing. So, you know, I think people are beginning to realize. And if anybody listening wants to follow somebody who's very interesting, I was telling Erica about him before we recorded. His name is Christopher Boozy, B-O-U-Z-Y. He actually founded a, a social media network called Spoutable, S-P-O-U-T-I-B-L-E. I'll put the link in the description. I would highly recommend joining Spoutable just to follow him and hear what he has to say. After the polls failed in 2016, he he's a data guy. He 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 so he does run it as data. He he formed his own methodology, which did not include calling people and polling people with bringing in a variety of things. Um, and he has a 96% accuracy. He knew the midterms would not be a red wave. He, he knew Biden would win in 2020. He predicted all of this. And maybe his information will lead to more accurate kind of reassuring <laughs> polling in the future different kind of polling he mm -hmm. kind of he calls it polling but bringing in different structures so well, that's what that but, stork is all about improving yeah. the way that we do things yeah right? yeah 
because some of the old ways are not working, you right. know. So anyway, so that's how I kind of see that. Oh, and I meant to say that pretty very soon on that gnarly um, full moon that I talked about <laughs> that's on August the 19th, that uh, folus will be on the way to uh, series, series, series. Oh, no, it's before that. Oh, no. But anyway, they'll be really close. Um, Dwarf Planet series, which is about nurturing and nourishment and feeding and feeding our needs um, in Capricorn is do these structures feed our needs anymore? They'll they'll be almost exactly together. So. <laughs> I, think people, I think people will just start going. Don't listen to the polls. Polls are rubbish. Yeah. Well. Don't listen to the mainstream media that are talking about the polls. <laughs> because they come with a bias. Oh, they do. Mm -hmm. abs absolutely. You know. Who I always wonder who they're polling. I've never been right. No, I've never been polled either. Nope. <laughs> then so, again, I don't have a landline. <laughs> yeah, well, like I say, we do just for my mother, but yeah. we should we should get rid of it now. I don't know why we even have it, but she has that number and she would call that first. So um, right. that's why we keep it. But um anyway, so you know, that's our kind of thoughts on this week. I think we'll leave it at that. We've covered enough, but I'll be watching that press conference yeah. to see if we're right. That's for sure. <laughs> I, I I am confident. I that I don't think mm. that the cards could have been any more clear. That, that well, and and right. the astrology and with the astrology as well. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And and he has been sounding stronger and stronger mm -hmm. every time I've heard him speak. I really do think he was sick on that debate. And and yes, he's old. Right. But but does that mean he's too old when he's right. only three years older than the other one? Right. <laughs> anyway. And the other one is so evil. So yeah. Exactly. I'll take old over <laughs> evil any day. All right. So don't forget to, you know, leave us a comment. We do answer the comments and read them somebody last week i think it was asked us to look at something else and i can't remember what it was so if it was if it was you you said you'd go away and think of what we should ask around that please leave me a comment and we can we'd love to you know if we feel it's right we'd love to look at things that you suggest so please do leave us a comment so. <laughs> bye for now bye <laughs>